Hey YouTube, Heiko here. Uh, quick update from the remodel. Pretty productive day even though it seems like everything takes forever. Uh, I was working on some wiring today, uh, tying in some old circuits of other rooms that were fed some circuit here in the office before and um, yeah after a little bit of some you know trying to understand how whoever the electrician was did the wiring here before figured it out and uh, so we have a little bit more light uh, dining room is uh, now powered up again and then my contractor friend Mark uh, he did some more framing and so we're at the point where all the framing is completed that we're going to start uh, placing all the outlet boxes tomorrow, switch boxes, and then start wiring in all the new stuff. Now I'll just uh, show you around real quick what we did, and then uh, that's it already. Still pretty dark, but that's powered up again. So uh, this house here, I mentioned that before, used to have ceiling heating in a layer of plaster that's on the drywall up there, and therefore... We have lots of circuits that are not used anymore. Not used, not used, not used, not used, not used. This is all wired for 200. Actually, it was kind of interesting today. So I assumed that every individual circuit breaker here would be just a 120 volt circuit, but that's not true. This circuit breaker and that circuit breaker together was wired as a 240 volt uh, circuit for some ceiling heating um took me a little while to figure that out i actually had to take the panel off to see you know it's a it's two conductor plus a ground where do those two conductors go and yeah the brown wire went to this one and the white wire went to this one someone explained that to me i have no idea how you would wire uh, a 240 circuit not even in the circuit breaker that are next to each other so that doesn't make any sense to me, but I figured it out and then rewired it for this to be just a normal 120 volt circuit. And the white uh, white wire is now used for the neutral. It's all hooked up properly. It's all safe. And that provided us a power source for dining room and everything that's behind here. Um, this is still a cable hanging out of the ceiling that was used for this 240 ceiling heating i'm just going to terminate that up in the attic with a handy box and maybe label it spare uh, and then maybe i put what panel it's from and what circuit breaker number uh, so if we ever have to install uh, hvac in the attic we already have a power source at least a what is that even it's a 30 amp circuit so we have a 30 amp circuit i can run a welder up in my attic <laughs> So anyway, it's just joking. Yeah, so um, framing completed. Here was a door opening that's now closed in. Um, we have already run some fresh 12-gauge uh, tw uh, wire here under the floor. Exits here at the wall, and that's going to supply power for the office. And then for this one bedroom here, um, all around, and then... Um, this one black one here coming down is another power circuit line this is the line side uh, that we will use also in some shape or form um, now we have to figure out where we want to have the light switches here for each room when you walk in uh, doors are going to be swinging here against the wall same over there door is going to be swinging against the wall so you can't put a light switch behind the door so they're going to be probably around the corner here but yeah, that's going to be all relatively easy because it's all going to be fresh wiring uh, with new outlets and new boxes set. And uh, then you just make the connection. And then you really have only one point where you have to tie it into the existing wiring, which is uh, a junction box or directly the circuit breaker panel. But yeah, now windows are all completely in. Uh, we haven't done anything with insulation since we have to run wires first. Um, and we also are required to get this all inspected and this is going to be happening sometime by the end of this week uh, before drywall after wiring so that's going to be the next step getting all the wiring done
tie it together and then call the inspector in. Yeah, so that's it. Framing, done. Did you help? Did you help at all today? Yeah. Yeah, are you sure? What did you do? Mm, Clean up, right? In the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. So that's that. All right. And yeah, I had a lot of fun up in the attic today. Uh, there was probably 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why people build a sauna. Just go into your attic in the summertime. It's about the same experience. All right, guys. Uh, that's it. I'm rambling. Uh, you guys have a good evening. And I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up, please. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Which is uh, the step down into our sunken room. Uh, before this was a solid wall and only over there and over here was a little bit of a step and now we made a step all the way around. So from the dining room area you can step down. Um, I, it's very simple construction. It's not standard uh, stair height. So we, we made them wider so you, you have more of a platform here. Um, and this is going to be covered in some sort of flooring, of course. We haven't decided what we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, I uh, didn't want to forget to mention that. All right, now that's really it. Take care. Bye.